Assalamu alaikum and hi everyone. In this video, I will show you the steps on how to draw a block diagram. The very first step is to determine the input and output of the system. Second, we will do a free body diagram analysis in order to determine all the forces acting in the system. After that, write the equations for all components in the system and then only we draw a block diagram. For additional tips, one equation can only be used once and we start to draw the block diagram from output and work toward the input while completing the whole block diagram. In this example, we have a spring mass system where the input to the spring is xi and it will cause the mass to displace by x0. Given the input to the system is xi and the output of the system is x0. And we are asked to draw the block diagram. The first step to draw a block diagram is to determine the input and the output of the system. Since it's already given in the, the equation, the input is Si and the output is X0. The second step is to do a free body diagram analysis. So we will draw a body with a force acting on the body and it will cause the body to displace by x0. So the question here is how to determine the direction of the force. Let's imagine that your friend A is pushing you while your friend B is pulling you. Let's say A is pushing harder than B. What will be your reaction? Yes, the reaction is you will push B. It is the same with spring and mass. The reaction force from the spring will push mass and it will displace by X0. So that is the second step, free body diagram analysis. The third step is to write all the equation for the system. We will write the basic equation. The summation of force equal to md square x naught. Since there is only one force acting on the body, so we write fs equal to md square x naught. That, that is the first equation. Then we write the equation for the spring, fs equal to ksi minus x naught. Then that is the second equation. Since we have only two elements in the system, therefore we only have two equations. Now the fourth step is to draw the block diagram. We will start with the output first. So we draw an arrow representing x naught. So now the question is, what is the equation that can be used to, to solve x naught? There are two equations, the first equation and the second equation. Both of the equation is having x naught in the equation. From equation 1, we rewrite the equation to follow the form. Output equal to transfer function multiplied with the input. Looking at this equation, we can see a multiplication operation. Please note, for a multiplication or division operation, the diagram will consist a block with one arrow input and one arrow output. So we draw a block diagram with fs as the input and the, trans the transfer function is 1 over md square. Now we need to solve for fs. We already used equation 1. Now we will use equation 2. In equation 2, the operation is also multiplication. So here, we are going to use this diagram. The block diagram is like this. K in the block and the input is xi minus x0. 
Okay. Now for this part, we see a subtraction operation. Again, for subtraction or addition operation, the diagram is a summation point. Hence here we draw summation point with two arrow x i and x node. Since the XO is already in the diagram, we just tap from here and join to here. So this is the block diagram for the spring mass system.